Fouls here if you're GW. Just going to get a hand up. Brandon Burke for three, and it's good as time winds down. What are the efforts still? Rennick and Brandon Burke. On the shot clock, Brandenburg. Whoa, boy! That's a big shot at the end of the shot clock. We are all set to go here from the Seagull Center. As Reddick will jump center against Indoy. You're right, man. They they pack this house. They weren't expecting a sellout tonight, but then they got it. And you can see why the energy getting behind the Rams, and we are underway, and the tip is won by St. Bonaventure. Charles Enclouf running the point guard. More improved players in the A-10. Man-to-man -man look by VCU on the cut down low. Got position, left-handed layup, no good, and the Rams control. Brandenburg until somebody stops him, nobody knows. Oh, what a move, swooping in for the layup. Quickly the other way, and VCU, that's what, that's what the Rams do. They turn you over. And it's a track meet. This is what Coach Smart said. His team is at their best when they dictate the tempo. Right now, up and down, a chaotic style. It's havoc, baby. Yeah, you see that word all over the place on their warm-up jerseys. In the crowd as well. That's what they want to do. Create that havoc. St. Bonaventure, a little zone look here, George. Trying to slow things down. Weber, dribble drive, floater in the lane, way off the mark. And we got a whistle, and we got a reach-in foul on VCU. And it, against that 2-3 zone, Frank, what you want to do is carve it out, get into the teeth of the defense, the teeth of that defense being the paint. Weber does a good job getting inside, force the shot, but VCU's okay with that because they like to go back and get it with second-chance opportunities. Full-court pressure by VCU. Clark double. Trying to get it across, the step through. Well done by the Bonnies. For that two-man game out top on the dump down. And almost turned over, gathers, tried to gather, and he does. Now to right, he'll try to settle things down with 15 to shoot. Brandenburg's on him, two-man game with Indoor. On the double, with eight to shoot. Clark going right. Baseline, I think Weber got a piece of it. Missed the shot. And quickly front court comes VCU. Graham, yes, with the jumper. And we got a whistle. And I think we got a push off on St. Bonaventure on the rebound. Saves VCU ball. Reddick does a fantastic job of attacking the rim, trying to create a second chance opportunity. But what you're seeing defensively from VCU already, the double team forcing the bodies to make a decision. But right there, the miss. And yeah, he got pushed out of the way, clear out of the box, out of missed assignment. They get another chance at it. They get Marquis Simmons with the push. 
Almost stolen by St. Bonaventure, but stays Rams basketball. But Frank, you can almost feel it already. In the first 90 seconds of this game, everything happening at a fever pitch so fast. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can't stop to think the game. You just got to react. VCU better at operating in this type of tempo of a game. St. Bonnie's looks incredibly uncomfortable to start. Try to get it in, they do. But then they turn it over. So uh, St. Bonaventure said, hey, we can turn you over. We can do the exact same thing. And even Coach Schmidt working the sidelines right there. He knows everybody's got to be involved right now. Two zip early going here. Maybe the Rams will apply that full court pressure. Nice crossover dribble. And Clark, the distance, the lay-in. Can't finish. Rams quickly the other way. You're right, track meet, Graham. Layup. Can't get it to fall down, but he got hit, and he'll shoot two. These guys would all make bad boyfriends. Everybody not committal. Nobody picking up the basketball as it goes from one end to the other. All the way down Fifth Avenue, all the way to the rim, and a finish on both ends. Nobody can convert, but Graham draws the foul. That's the old saying. Stop the ball. Stop the ball. Nobody did for St. No Bonaventure. That ball needs to be picked up at about three-quarters court. Once you get past the half, you got to meet him ahead of the three-point line. If you haven't, the damage has been done. You're playing it from behind. First offering from Graham is good. You see Melvin Johnson checking in for guests. And Simmons takes a seat for St. Bonaventure. And Dion Wright is in there. Early substitute for both squads. Misses second. And Doyle with the rebound. Three zip. Even on the miss, they'll apply that pressure. Gathers. Tough move with the right hand. Can't get the fall down. The right knocked out of bounds, and it's VCU ball. St. Bonaventure has taken every shot in the half court before that clock, shot clock dwindles down even 25 seconds. Mm -hmm. Within the first 10 seconds of each possession has been a four shot. But VCU defensively is trying to double team the dribbler and jump him every time to make him turn that ball over and make an errant pass. So far working to their advantage. Clue fall over Weber. Shot clock at 20. Brandenburg. The step back between the legs now trying to cross up. But gathers isn't. Confused, he stays right in front of his man. 12 to shoot. We got a bump out front. Let's see if they got right for the uh, for the uh, bump, and that's exactly right. They get right. That's his first possession for VCU. Wright's yet to get a shot up. The St. Bonaventure leads the team to score. That's critical to this game. Matthew Wright's got to be able to locate his shot and be effective. Right now, unable to do so. Graham Crab Dribble lost it. He's on the deck. Three on one the other way for St. Bonaventure. Gathers. Scoop layup. He can't finish. Still over from the field for St. Bonnie's. Quickly, Weber on the kick. Three ball. Brendenburg. Got it. The senior. And how about this for pressure? Every day. Fall down. As they will uh, take it out. Baseline. You see the field goals there. Shock is smart. Looking on. And they turn it over on the inbounds. Four of those five field goals were layups. Point blank chip shots. Lewis is in there for VCU off to Johnson. Brandon Berger just hit that three, forcing Coach Schmidt to call it 30 second timeout. Johnson got hit on the pass, going up with the left hand, and will stay VCU ball. And you're seeing early the respect for the Johnson three point shot. He's a threat from beyond the arc. Because of that, he commands that attention, which gives him the advantage on the bounce to get to the rim and inevitably draw the foul. This VCU team not afraid of contact, especially around the rim. They love to get to the line. Van Dale Cumberbatch averaged about eight and four for St. Bonnie's checks in there. Shot clock at 30. Johnson, they swing it around. Ball faking the three on the extra look. Brandenburg, another triple. Got it. That's two for the senior. If it feels good, do it again, Mr. Brandenburg. Nine set VCU. Lewis all over Kloof on the handoff. You got a whistle though before the shot went up. It's so loud in here you can't even hear the whistle. <laughs> I just happened to see the ref put up his hand. Yeah, you knew the whistle was coming right there. Jaquan Lewis oh, overzealous with the on the ball defense. And that crowd is such a factor here at Single Center. 50th straight sellout. St. Bonnie's inbound, still looking for their first points. Cumberbatch, free throw line extended. Now for Kloof. He's doubled. 
And the late jumper. Seal still not broken for St. Bonaventure. Here comes Brandenburg. Doesn't have numbers. Secondary look. Oh, deep triple. Redick with the offensive rebound. Lewis going to tee up another three. That's short. And I think we got a push on VCU. St. Bonnie ball. That's a good call right there. Redick, a man amongst boys, especially on a low block when he's chasing down a rebound. Right there, bodies collide. And they bounce off Redick. <laughs> it's a clear call for the officials. But you love the fight from your big fella as he takes his seat. Doing everything he can to give these Rams the advantage. Almost four minutes in, St. Bonaventure, still nothing. Trail by nine. Right. Thinking three. Jump pass down low. Layup, no good. And no, he can't get the finish. Ball's batted around. Still on the deck. And who's got it? We got a jump ball. Jump ball as we go to a timeout. 15 53 left here in the first half. All Rams. Perfect from the field. Two boards. They've got possession. Every kid on this Rams team offensively on the catch tries to do something with it first. Not many teams in the country that have five guys catch, look to score at first, but not in a selfish way. That's how they're taught. It's what makes this offense so dynamic. Quan Lewis, the freshman from Tennessee, talking to Coach Smart before the game, he said this kid has the most potential on the team. He said the sky's the limit with this kid. He can do it all. They just had to hone him in as he learns the freshman adjustments. But when he gets there, watch out, world. Both teams are big subs. Burgess still in there. Weber running the point guard spot. Shot clock to 22. Brandon Berg with those eight points. Double. Bounce pass. Good look inside. Can't get the finish. The two shots coming up from Reddick. Good offense is set there from VCU. Yeah, Reddick did a great job loitering on the low block, and carving out some space. You get a look at Lewis right there. How about set the Tennessee record for points? 50 points in a game in high school. They love his ability to change ends and make plays happen. Also, a quarterback on a football team in high school. So this kid literally can do it all, Frank. A lot of times you see some uh, very talented guards playing at quarterback spot. As well in high school. Can you throw a football? No. Don't lie to me. I, 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 because no, I, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> you didn't. Like 20 That's yards. That's a quick answer, man. <laughs> because, I, <laughs> because I know the answer. <laughs> it took me some time, and you know what? I was, I was lying. Reddick, one or two. That's what you got to love about Mr. Hammerhead. He tells you uh, the truth. He gives the people what they want on this broadcast. <laughs> you see Burgess taking a seat. It's, Jocker Smart goes very deep into his bench, loves to keep people fresh in and out, puts that pressure on the opposition. That's a great point. 11 deep, so that intensity stays at a high level. 40 minutes long, 40 minutes strong. Right, another triple. That's another one. He's got all six for St. Bonaventure. Right, letting Brandenburg hear about it as he makes his way back on defense right there. Brooks have just checked in, almost turns it over. Reddick now. No reset. Weber up top, which is about 9-3 for VCU. The three ball, the great equalizer in college basketball. Dominating this game is VCU, but a couple threes, and they're within striking distance. Baseline drive. I think that shot was partially blocked. St. Bonaventure to be down 9-zip, and then 9 points a couple of seconds ago. Have a chance to cut it to 4, but Wright doesn't go up strong, and then he picks up a ticky-tack foul out of frustration. Yeah, that's just a comedy of errors right there. One mistake compounded by another. When you miss the baby hook at point blank range, get back and defend. You're in great position against a bottom venture. Cannot convert from point blank range. Get back and defend. Yeah. Don't try and jump the little guard in Weber, who's quicker, who has the clear control of the basketball. You have no advantage to try and steal it. Get back. Play some defense. So right for St. Bonaventure, 2 of 2. The rest of the team 0 for 9. And look at this. With 12.38 left, already in the bonus, is VCU. Coach Smart said it. he wanted to yeah. control the tempo. I think he's doing just that right now at the free throw line. Every piece of this game, minus defending the three-point shot, which is a struggle defensively of the Rams. They've done it all pretty much in this one. See, Wright has to take a seat with three personal fouls. Now it's about nine and five for St. Bonaventure, but he's going to have to sit a long time in trouble. Poof. Ball's partially deflected and then turned over. 
Break out Brandenburg. Slam. And this is what you don't want if you're safe by adventure. Live ball turnovers. And there's another one. Boy, oh boy. You know, largest as I, lead of the night for VCU. As I've watched this VCU defense, I've said it time and time again. Live ball turnovers is what will kill the opponent. If you're going to turn the ball over, it sounds crazy to say, throw that ball 20 feet into the stands <laughs> so you can get back and defend. A live ball turnover means you get that basketball, you turn your defense and offense, you lay it in on the other end. You don't want that. There's Cliff. He should be handling it against his press. He gets it over. Coming up on 12 to play first half. As VCU up by 10. Oh, tough bounce pass. But they will group. And right with 16 to shoot. Brought by Brandenburg. They switch out. And almost stolen yet again. Timeout on the floor. VCU has turned. And a sixth straight from the charity strike. Quick feet, quick hands. Third in the A-10 and steals is Thomas. One of two from the line. His first miss. Well, VCU gets that ball down quickly, don't they? Really trying to get that offensive area, and they, they force you to be out of position defensively. Brandenburg for three. Brandenburg now with seven. And another. They're going to call push off on Frazier, I think. Offensive. And you'll see right here, beautiful ball movement. Graham inside out to Brandenburg, and that was set up because of transition, moving it up court. Getting it moved around the perimeter quickly, and then they were able to score, and now they're able to set up havoc, and then they get Brandon Frazier with a push off. Stay with BCU. You mentioned the magic number 11. Brandenburg's got seven right now. Well, and this VCU team has so much more energy right now, starting the second half, than it did the first. You know, and that's unusual. I mean, VCU is a team of energy. Dump off to Reddick, but the bounce too high, out of bounds, another turnover. What do you think happened at halftime with Shaka Smart and yeah. his guys? I think that he's got enough players. He's going to play the guys. We've talked about that. They're that giving energy. I mean, and if you're not going to give him energy, he's going to get you out of the game. There's enough guys on that bench that want to play. And right now, he whatever he said, He's got everybody listening. Do you think he went over plus minus in contributions at <laughs> halftime? I think he knows plus minus is in his head. And, and who's giving him energy? And a push off this time on Thomas. I think he'll get nope, Frazier. get Frazier his second. I just see right here. Just lost the ball. I mean, that's another unforced turnover. I mean, you can't do that, especially against VCU. They're going to get enough of the ones that are forced. Not only do you have to worry about them just scoring the basket, but now you got to worry about the Havoc defense. That time, Guest moving his body and jumping in instead of just staying straight up. Third foul on Guest. That's another turnover. Wow. That took out a monitor and a statistician. Well, you can see the look on some of the guy's face. Smith dropping his head. Leonard dropping the, his head. This is the time of game that you need somebody to step up. Frazier's got to step and say, guys, we're still in this game. Lots of time left. Let's be under control. Lewis to run the show out top of Brandenburg on the wing. Let us see him go back inside again. And Alec Cox the ball. Graham back out. Lewis to triple. VCU is pouring it on. Another rip. Can't save this one. You got to love the inside out passing. And VCU has made their last six shots, but they're open shots. There's nobody anywhere near Lewis. And that's just a great look. 
by Trevion Graham. But what happens now, VCU, it's contagious. Everybody gets a little bit nervous with the ball. They know somebody's around. It's intimidating. But what you have to do is be under control. And Frazier's done a pretty good job of handling that pressure. He goes into the paint with the left hand. Not strong enough. Mo Alley Cox on the floor for the rebound. Lewis the run. Odd man break. And the rebound by Mo Alley Cox. Great hustle by Mo Alley Cox, but Smith no box out. Whitehead no box out. Nobody in the lane trying to get that rebound for the Florida Rams. Thomas can't get it. Leonard will end the 10-0 run and go back to the line. How about VCU getting it in transition? It's one thing to get back on defense and watch everybody standing around. Mohali Cox lays it in. And the other end, VCU not doing a very good job boxing out. The big fella taking it up and under. Well, he used to be a much bigger fella. Now down to 275, the 6'8 Trevion Leonard. He's athletic, too. You can see he's... He's just very big, but if he can drop another 15, 20 pounds, it's just so hard for him to get up and down that court and play many minutes. Brandon Burke, three more! He's up to 10. We, 42 and three when he scores 11 points or more. Brandon Burke on the verge, he's got 10. Ravion Leonard can't get it. Got his own rebound. And he'll head back to the line. The big fella really doing a nice job on the boards. Rooms is waiting to come in for him, but he's had a couple good possessions. Fighting hard on the offensive board. Get to the free throw line for the second time on two possessions. Doesn't he look slim and trim? Well, he, he, is, he looks like a defensive end or an offensive <laughs> lineman. Well, the reason I say down to 275... That's what he looked like in high school. He says tipping the scale maybe uh, possibly across 435. Well, you, if he they couldn't have had two of those pictures of him. They wouldn't have had a split screen, but and he's worked really hard. Oh, my, well, and I think it's so important because not only for basketball, but for health reasons. Getting up and down the court. And he will sit now because even now, his cardiovascular can only take so much. Right. He, he did a great job in there. They're going to need him in this game. Now, Rooms is back in the game, but they're still going small. There's four guards in Rooms trying to work on that pressure. So the little guys have to box out. Reddick, 2D. Graham the rebound. Dump to Reddick. No box out. And when you box out a big guy, you've got to push him out of the way with your body and keep your arms high. And that time, the guards were not able to box out Graham. Oh, wow. Frazier may have got away with a push off. Can't get it to finish. Johnson for three. Can't get it. Another VCU rebound by Graham. Back outside. Brandenburg. They were one of seven from behind the arc in there that are in roles where you actually have four two guards playing and there's nobody that's able to run the point offensively or defensively nice move by Whitehead Pitbull takes it strong they're just not really an offensive team Steve that built to come back from a deficit like this 65-44. They're watching Thursday night tip-off presented by Buick Regan. Wholesale substitutions for VCU. Lyles coming in the game. Number zero, Cat Quick. He's a guy that can get to the rim very, very quickly. He fits into this style of play. Ashaka Smart. With long, long arm guys that are quick. Great for heaven. Freshman out of Washington. Actually, he played at DeMatha. That's where Derek Wittenberger used to coach at Fordham. Little 
Eric Wittenberg and Sidney Lowe. Back in the old NC State days, they're going to get the big fella trying to push around Reddick. That was very close to a takedown. <laughs> and it will be the seventh foul, and it will send Reddick back to the line. Reddick's been a man. I mean, he's eight for 14, six for seven free throw line, and has 22 points. And at a time when everybody was struggling for VCU, he was able to compete on the offensive end. Well, he's got his double-double, 10 rebounds. I mentioned to you before, 11-0 when he's 10-plus off the glass. And a foul on Lyles coming back the other way. I mean, Reddick does it all. He, 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 you talk about somebody who fills up the stat sheet. He's 18th in school history in points, fourth on the list in rebounds, eighth in blocks, and Ethan steals and continues to climb the ladder and all. And that's talking on a team that has some really good scores, guys that are very solid. But now you see Lottie walk. You're going to see Lyles in the game. Number zero, the kid we've talked about very quick. It just shows you Shaka Smart's trying to get some of these younger guys in the game. I mean, this is still a game. It's a 20-point game. But still, Lyles is in there. They've... Now played 11 players in this game, BCU has. Severe gets it across on Lyles. Even when guys like Severe and Whitehead bring it across, and even Thomas, it's still uncomfortable, and it's hard for them to get in the scoring area. Trevion Leonard short-armed it. Great pass by Severe to Leonard. Bang! Three more from Doug Brooks. Right now, Leonard is sucking wind. He's having troubles getting up and down the court. VCU taking advantage. Good ball movement, getting an open jump shot. VCU firing on all cylinders. Severe answers. Leading score in the conference is a freshman. This is a kid, along with Matthews from Rhode Island, who will be fighting for the Rookie of the Year honors. Smith with a great swat. And then Severe trying to throw the U. Brandenburg for three more. Make a mistake, they bury him. I tell you, that last sequence looked like AAU basketball. There's bad offense on one end, good defense for VCU and then throwing it down in a one-on-three pull-up jump shot by Brandenburg. Gotta love it. Wouldn't you love to play in a program like that? You know, a lot of fun. You play hard on defense, you play hard on offense. You got a coach who's always there on your side helping you out. Energy himself. Travel on Burgess. It's one thing to get a wide open three-point jump shot out of trans out of uh, your offense but then they get another one in transition and then off the steal beautiful pass and on the drive Cincinnati kid we like those Cincinnati kids Brad yeah he started there for the VCU Rams Havoc Rob Brandenburg Briante Weber Jordan Burgess starting in place for the injured Melvin Johnson Travion Graham and Juvante Riddick on a rebound or a block. I right. think he may have gotten the block, too. Look at that. Rejected. Give it up. There you go. Bad shot, turnover. They make you pay. And don't get back here. Man, a tough man. What a catch. How about that? They got numbers, too. Yeah. They're going to go. He makes it numbers. Again, a close-in miss. They got go. that one. That's the offensive rebound. Ali Cox, so good at that end of the game. What a tough kid he's going to be. Out of the timeout, VCU's climbed right back to within two. They don't go away. They're like a bad cold. <laughs> Relentless. Wilson. Yeah, it's never easy to recruit, but kids love the way they play. Shot clock at five. 
Yeah, the Civic, I'm not sure he knows. He doesn't. Wow. Hold on. Make this one. That's it. Practice. 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 We're tied. And Phil's letting them play. He really believes in this team. And confident with them all year long that they'll do the right thing at the right time. When they're behind, be careful with the basketball. Kanasevic, there comes a double from Mo Ali Cox. Pop it down, number 32. This is a very short bench. There's the jumper. Boy, Langston Galloway knew the minute it left his fingertips. And you know what? That's confidence of a coach and his players to stem the tide. It's a gradual grinding, a lot of deep bench people coming in and punishing, but they're not finishing at the rim on some of these turnovers to the opportunity of a goal. Check the five on the floor. Graham's back. Here's uh, Jake Juan Lewis. Again, a miss from in close. He's ball tapped out. Here comes Galloway for St. Joe's. The Hawks. Now, Roberts really hasn't had many touches down inside. I think he could do some damage. Usually, start, usually starts with him. There's the double. So relaxed with the ball. Isn't he, though? It's unbelievable. A little kiss in Brooklyn. Pass the cheesecake at Junior's. <laughs> DeAndre Bembry, what a nice talent he is. First foul. Listed at 6'6". Six, six. Haircut, 6'1". Six, 6'9". Six, Sands. Yeah. I think. Uh, pretty play, though. Inside post up. Do some damage. He brings a lot of energy to this team. Membry from Charlotte, North Carolina. This is not a good free throw shooting team. Not at all. That's They've got four starters under 60%. And you saw a little example of it there. Reddy can make that little foul line jumper now. Pass it up. Weber, Briante. Nice help. Wilson. Plus the turnover. Nice. Back door. Double. Quick, too. Well, right here, you don't anticipate. You're looking at the high side. Got to make some quick decisions. We talk about the speed of VCU, but the Hawks can really rally to the point, too. And this is what they did in their first game. They let these two bring the ball up. It takes the pressure, gets rid of Weber and others, Lewis, etc. And here's Chris Lewis, number 24. Gets a screen from Ken Sevic. Goes right, guarded closely by Briante Weber. Bembry. No, oh, beautiful Brand. pass. Oh, boy. The old pocket pass. They're unselfish. They are a team. Consummate. Feel raving about their enthusiasm and enjoyment of one another. And that exhibited on that last trip. Largest lead of the game now. 21-13. It was 11-4 earlier on. Here's Weber. Good defensive job by Roberts on him. They keep trying to drive the lane. There's a little shove. Catchable passes in traffic are very important. Look at that. Leading to the goal, too. The old-fashioned bounce pass. Put it on the deck. Foul on Galloway. His first substitution. Now, Mo Ali Cox is on for Jordan Burgess. Should mention that Melvin Johnson, sixth man of the year in the Atlantic 10. Knee injury early in the game yesterday for VCU. Uh, fairly good news from Shaka Smart told us before the game they do not believe he tore a ligament. That is great news. Good news. A little steps here on the defense. I saw it on tape last night, and I he was writhing in pain. Only two more episodes left until the big series finale of How I Met Your Mother. Don't miss a minute tomorrow at 8, 7 Central, only CBS. St. Joe's on a 10-2 run now. Ooh. Whoa! Mo Alley Cox, Weber. Ooh. Oh, look at that! And then he misses 
Another layup. You're going so hard, you've got to slow that last step up and kiss it off easy. Count of seven. Nice. Rebound. Roberts. There's where they're dangerous. The kick out three. Bembry too hard. And look at the one-handed rebound. Foul as Kanasevic grabbed the rebound. So the unemotional, but right here, nothing simple. They gather at the point. They just hope one another. Amazing impact they have on that end. First foul on Javante Reddick. Jaquan Lewis getting ready to come back on the floor. Saved and thrown right in the hands. Two on one. Good job. Good job. There you go. Much better. Solid in the open floor. Weber, such a key to this team. I was like to run a marathon against Weber. Oh, my gosh. Forget about it. Another steal. Relentless. And they got a 10-second violation. They get... An inordinate amount of those during the course of the season with that pressure. Turn heads, totally committed, and in the right place. Just unique. Seven St. John's turnovers now. Go back to that graphic that we mentioned a while ago. This VCU team leads the country in turnovers forced. 18.5. Second most, beg your pardon. Doesn't have to always get to the rim, Lewis. Boy, he's going to be terrific as the seasons go on. Pretty good right now. Look at the pressure, the footwork. Darius Quarles has come on for St. Joe's, number 11. Bembry is on the bench. Here's Lewis. And Vern, generally you have one nudge on the other team. they got a team full of them. <laughs> Look at that. Over wow. and lingering. That was close to goaltending. But how about the presence around the cylinder? 23-17, four minutes to go. Opening half. Brandon Bull. Really nice. Yeah, mixing his game up nicely. We know he can make that deep one. They Four speed you up. Excuse me, that's when you got to slow it down. I think it's off his leg. One more look at the last basket. Oh, I think I saw hands on the rim. You might be right. Wow, how many teeth jarred? Very close to a TKO. Uh, I'm thinking of a horn, Lambeer. Yeah. Uh, maybe Leskatov. Tommy Heinsohn when he get mad. Grace <laughs> <laughs> Heinsohn. Oh. Emblematic of knowing the game. Here's Galloway. Look at the sea of pass. Nice. Underneath, Roberts. And one. That's what he does best. Hello. The pass that leads to the pass. He makes the defense move. Goes right over the top. It ends up with an easy basket, an opportunity for a three-point play. The magical artistry of a point forward. Great feel and understanding of the game. Five for five at the free throw line so far. Here's Roberts. Oh. Maybe at 60, and you know that that's one of their problems in a close game. It's a danger. And look. Ah! Coming right back at you with that power move. Travion, we know he can shoot the deep one. Tough kid going to the rim. Pretty play. The balance. The little kiss. It's a boot. And he will shoot one. Ray in the 69% free throw shooter for the year. And in my notes, I have free trade. Free trade. Like he just turns the corner and attacks. There you are. Good strong chest. On cue. Mm -hmm. Guard comes up. Once again, a big brings it up. It takes Weber out of the mix. And boy, to get him out of the mix helps you a great deal. Into the hands of Galloway. When they keep Gordon Galloway like that, he's going to back cut. Defense, 
Chris Wilson. Look at this, under five. The shot for three. That's right, Young Graham has it. He goes all the way and three. <laughs> Rearranged. Oh, my uh, goodness. Don't give up on a play. Two removed. And just an ex incredible recovery and transition day. LeBron like if he hit that off the glass. Oh. That was Roberts again. Here's Brandenburg back outside. Graham catch and release for three in and out. Rebound. Reddick, what a great job staring that one. Good reaction by the big guy. Three-point game, 30-27. And the Semic has really got to stick him. Deontay Weber. Oh, oh he got the rim. Brandenburg. Boy, that helps you when they make those kind of calls. We didn't see any of those in the first half. A little nickel dimer. Indeed. And if they call him against VCU, that could spell trouble. Second foul on Burgess, so he'll take a seat. He grew up in Staten Island. He changed his number, did Kenneth Civic. 2012, an uncle in Montenegro. There's his dad from Staten Island. His uncle Rizzo died at the age of 45. And so Kanasevic changed his number to honor the age at which his uncle, he was very close to him, mm -hmm. despite the distance from here to Montenegro, went from 21 to 45. He yeah, loved the basketball. Ooh, look at the small change here on the pass. They got Roberts with it. We're getting nitpicky. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't half, see right? them. Very yeah. You know, the, it's like us getting paid by the word. They get paid by the whistle, baby. <laughs> oh. Katasevic picks up his second. Travion Graham goes to the bench. You know, fumble on the inbounds messed up the play. <laughs> Turnover. Gladden. That's the ref, by the way. Oh, okay. Tougher angle to inbounds the pass. They get it out to Brandenburg. He's picked up by Chris Wilson, number 24. Here's Jaquan Lewis, number one. Ball screen. I love the way they weave and turn the corner, cut the angle. Jumper, no. Look at the non-jumping rebound. I think Kanasevic might have picked up his third. I think you're right. Nope. And that, that is key if it is him. Let's see. It is on Kanasevic, and I beg your pardon, that's his first. Mm -hmm. well, he is an important guy. He's going to make sure he doesn't get any more foul problems. Be tough for them to control tempo if he's out of the game. Now, quarterfinal game here, he picked up his fourth and had to sit for, I don't know, eight minutes in the second half. Despite his absence, they came on to win. Here's Rob Brandenburg. He was talking about his rebounding, and he doesn't even leave the floor half of the time. He can slide these Saturday edition of the Daily News into those wheels. <laughs> about How about that? About that? Going left, too. DeAndre Bembry. <clears throat> Three-point margin yet again. Briante Weber ready to come back to VCU. Too strong. Another one of those soaring rebounds. Put in the right spot. We're carrying. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they got away with one out. Out of here. Yeah. Court. Nice. Look. Who's the rim? Smart. Red shirt freshman out of Tennessee. Nice bounce pass. And a foul call. And a nice step through and defense deterred. 
Interesting here with the, the ability to use the dribble and beat the pressure with the big guy and the left hand is struggling into the rim. That is the third foul on Burgess. Now let's check the ZCU subs. Briante Weber is back on. Redick will lead. Ronald Roberts at the line. Weber. Wow. Mm. Look at the quick out. Got numbers. Oh, well, he overthrew. Ronald Roberts gets it back outside the Denver. Left waiting, side. For, waiting for the boss to show up. Yeah. <laughs> A little tardy. 15.43 to go. There's another steal. Here comes Lewis. Right side, pull up, Brandenburg. Mm. They just keep coming. Collectively, a monster ticker. We are tied. VCU has never led. Don't forget the wear and tear. Lolly Cox gets down. And as you notice, we're a lot more stringent on the small change. 15-21 to play. A thrilling moment to see your name go up and find out where you're playing. And if you've never been there before, I just love the shots for shown. Just amazing. Well, the St. Joe's team, of course, will take the bus back home to Philadelphia, but not before they go back to the hotel and they will watch the selection show to determine where they will go with family and friends. That was short. Follow is good. My goodness. Coming up empty. And the push is on. Weber didn't need it. Give it up. He's got Wilson at the other end. Off the glass. Nicely done. Right, a good, strong attack. Some kids slow up. He just bursts to the rim. The side call, Chris Wilson. Graham and Reddick. Brandenburg. Weber and Jaquan Lewis on the floor for VCU. See if Graham can get going a little bit too. Nice screen. Open look. How about yeah, that? Brandenburg. That was for two and we're tied again. Little pressure applied on the inbound pass. Brandenburg, here's the trap. Jaquan Lewis. Got to get it over and they do. Good. Deployment. Ken <laughs> Sevix winded. He just takes his time, walks yeah, up. Well, maybe, maybe he's not. Well, he decided you can't play without me, so. <laughs> Hold up. 13 44 to go. Into the corner. Jumper. Oh, oh boy. Man. He is really feeling good. That was a contested jumper. 42% guy from three. Galloway. Shaping up big. 12 points on four for five from three-point range. And nothing from Reddick. I would challenge inside. And Savage too important to this philosophy. Brandenburg, that's his shot. Mm -hmm. And nobody came out on that dribble exchange. Largest lead in this game midway through the first half. It was St. Joe's leading by eight. VCU has never led. Oh, and he missed it. Danisevic is down hard. There's, tell you what, though, not a bad attempt. I like that. And a good call, too. I think as long as he's outside that restricted area, uh, this is one normally he just wants to show his athleticism for a change. How about that? Ooh, boy. That's How does he bounce second. up? Yeah. Mm. Wolverines meeting again. That's next on CBS. Pressure applied. Galloway gets it in. Roberts. A little double. This is the 
And the back to man running jump. Don't maybe the point press. We haven't seen that yet on the ball and trapping. Double high, one goes to the rim, and another double. He is so quick, enthusiastic, boundless energy. Nicknamed Captain Chaos. That, that he is representative of their philosophy, more so than anybody. Only one lead change in the ball game. Whoa! And the gamble on the wing Whoa. just sent a resounding thunder release. Membry. Now here's Weber back outside. <laughs> Defensive mistake and you pay for it. Weber again. Nice inside screen and exchange. Ten on the shot clock. Brandenburg. Jumper. In and out. Rebound. Foul call. Get in the right spot. He doesn't even have to elevate. He's so strong. How about this? Every with a memory. Time call. Isn't that terrific? Oh. What a cutie. Oh. First free throw good. Mo Alley cuts. Look at this. He spends the entire... He's one of the five grandchildren of Phil and Judy Martelli. <laughs> He's got way too much hair to pull this off. Yes, he does. And he dresses very well, too. Very popular. He's just as cute as a button. We had a chance to meet him yesterday. He said, I am not the coach. I am the grandson of the coach. Uh -huh. Put you in your place. Because mm -hmm. it's a basketball family. Judy, a great player with Immaculata, the, the bride. Nice save by Weber. Nice find, Mo Alley Cox. No, that's not his game, but he gets a kick. It, it, it should have been a lob at some point. Uh, you can't ask him to do everything. He will be demanding attention as the years go on. 44-42, 11.09 to go. Mo Alley Cox takes a spot on the bench. Right, Kenneth Savage with those three fouls. This is a real test for him. A lot of college teams don't think that way, but I would go inside. He's so important. They take the jumper instead from way outside. That was Trayvon Graham. Here's Bembry, Kenneth Savage. Uh, as they went to the last time out after Kenneth Savage was called for the foul, he began uh, a heated conversation with Phil Martell. Jumper, no. I think he can be tough to reason with that time, yeah. don't you? Jumper, Brandon Burr. That's Save. Graham. Goes in and uses the glass. And uses the body, too. Body, what a tough pass this is. Unnecessary for a heady player. Brandon Burr. And it starts an easy deuce. Mistake. Leads to punishment. Largest VCU lead of the game. It's six. Brandenburg has 18 points. 13 in this half. Well, that is using all the rim and the backboard. Bembry. And Paul didn't call time out. He needs no. the leads in this team. He didn't have to mistakes like that. But they know. Uh, there's a little cheapy. Galloway. Wide open, and of course the ability to rebound. I just love how you attack here. Roberts with the two foul, not bad, and the drive and completion, the blow by. That's not the strength of Kanasevich. Galloway picked up the foul, his second. Brandenburg will head to the bench. Tonight on 60 Minutes, drones are operating all over America, so what are they doing? More than you ever imagined. Tonight on 60 Minutes.
Chaka Smart going to his bench again. Briante Weber is out. Now be careful now of Galloway on the inbounds pass. Brandon Berg is back on the floor. They're ready for that handoff. Team fouls, six apiece. So we go to the bonus. Next one. This is where he's good. Peek it over his shoulder. Finishes himself or finds. Not a bad ploy by Phil. Get him in there to do some damage. He hooky jerks it. 48-46. Brandenburg thought about the three. Graham takes the three. And look at Kanasevic. Just reached over and tapped the ball out. Wilson. No, no, no. You don't need it. Smart. Membry. Wait for the big guy to get it. <laughs> he doesn't even amble down. He just oh. strolls. Wilson's got to be more patient, though. Nice. Underneath. Kanasevic, another rebound. And a good job walling up without fouling. 13 rebounds for Halil Kanasevic. He had 17 in yesterday's semifinal. Under eight. Everybody cuts well. Good vision. If you help a double, he hurts you. Goes to the left. How about this kid? Old time religion. Pass the hat. Thirty second timeout. V C U. Six O run for St. Joe's. 